Let's take a look at river deltas, barrier islands, and salt marshes, which are landforms created by deposition. Deposition occurs when rivers, streams, and the ocean drop sediments and create landforms. River deltas form when a river carrying sediment reaches a body of water, such as a lake or an ocean. As the river flows, it picks up small particles, rocks, sand, and other items created from weathering and erosion. Erosion is the process in which materials are worn away and transported by natural forces, such as wind and water. As a river enters a body of water, like an ocean or lake, it slows down and the sediment will begin to be deposited. Over time, the sediment that is deposited will begin to build up and may create a landform. This deposition of sediment may create a landform shaped like a triangle, which is called a river delta. It's named a river delta because of its triangle shape, which resembles the Greek letter delta. However, not all deltas are triangle shaped. A bird foot delta has few widely spaced distributaries, making it look like a bird's foot. The Mississippi River is an example. Here are a couple of famous, famous river deltas. The Colorado River Delta, the Mississippi River Delta, and the Nile River Delta. So in summary, deltas form when rivers pick up sediment caused by weathering and erosion. The river slows down when it enters a body of water, and this may create landforms, and sometimes it may look like a triangle. A barrier island is a long, narrow island that runs parallel to the mainland coast. It is separated from the mainland by a body of water, such as a lagoon or a sound, which is a relatively narrow body of water between the mainland and an island. Barrier islands are formed by sediment that is transported by waves and currents from the mainland. They protect the mainland from erosion and storm surge. Waves carry a variety of materials, such as sand, rock, dead corals, and shell. In addition, longshore currents transport and deposit this material. A longshore current is a result of how the waves strike the beach. Most waves approach the beach at a slight angle and retreat perpendicular. This action creates longshore currents that move in a direction parallel to the shore. These longshore currents can transport and deposit materials offshore and may, over a period of time, create a landform offshore like a barrier island. The longest barrier island in the world is Padre Island of Texas, and it is 113 miles. Let's take a look at several barrier islands. What is a salt marsh? A salt marsh is a coastal wetland that is dominated by salt tolerant plants. Salt marshes are coastal wetlands that are flooded and drained by tides. They're found in the intertidal zone. Let's take a ride in a salt marsh. First notice it's a combination of water channels and lots of grasses. The depth of the marsh will change based on the tides, and it may change up to 7, 8, maybe 9 feet. The salt marsh that I was riding in is found between the ocean and the mainland. Notice how the salt marsh goes all the way to the ocean. Salt marshes are important ecosystems that provide a variety of benefits, which include it's a habitat for wildlife, including birds, fish, and even dolphins. Protection from storms and erosion. It's a great water filtration system. And carbon storage, because all the plants take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen during photosynthesis. Like I said, salt marshes can also be a home to dolphins where they go for food. Thanks for watching and remember kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.